Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another Mac video tutorial. Today's topic is using extensions to customize your Mac. Now extensions are basically the same as widgets or small service applications and these are things that Apple has actually used in the past uh, in the dashboard application or some of the other features of the Mac and extensions you can find in the system preferences and these will include Apple created ones as well as third party extensions. And you can look at a list of all of them to see which ones you generally have available for your usage including things like Dropbox or on my computer I have Todoist as well. And you can also see different action type things you can do such as the included markup from Apple and again Dropbox Finder integration, markup and other photo editing tools will be available in the photos tab. The share menu is also one that you're probably very familiar with, including options to send things off with Twitter, Facebook, and even items like Vimeo, LinkedIn, Flickr. The more third-party applications that you tend to use or you frequent their website, they will likely ask you if you'd like to install an extension on your Mac so that you can stay up to date with new content or anything like that. And those are obviously completely customizable according to your liking. So go through in this menu and see how you are able to share things by choosing which boxes you would like to have checked and available. The last section in this tab is for the Today View, and this is part of the Notification Center, very similar to your iOS products. The top right hand corner, if you click the icon with the three dots, you will be able to see your notifications as well as your Today View with any of these widgets designated to give you information that you would like. As I mentioned with the share menu, more third party apps means more extensions, so if you tend to use a lot more of those, they will appear here and you can customize them again to your liking. I hope you found this helpful in understanding extensions for Mac. We will talk to you soon. Take care.